In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a social media footer that follows your visitors down the page as they scroll down the page, allowing them to share your content at any moment in time, which is awesome. You see this on really big websites, really popular websites, and one of the reasons they are so popular is because A, they create great content, and B, they make it really easy to share. And this tutorial shows you that second part, how to make it really easy to share. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we teach WordPress to change lives. So you can change your life by increasing your income, change your client's life by providing services that they need. And if you like that kind of thing, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and hacks, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell icon, so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like Elementor and you want to know how to do pretty much anything with it, get on the wait list for my Do Pretty Much Anything with Elementor course. It's in the description down below and it's a waiting list. There's no obligation. I haven't created the course yet, but I just want to see how much interest there is in this course. And if there's enough interest, I will create it. So check that out if you want to. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture. I'll see you there. What we're going to do in this tutorial is add social media icons to the footer, make it sticky so it follows you down the page or follows the visitor down the page and they can share to social media at any time. The way we do that, let's just go see what we have so far. So on desktop, we don't have anything that's sticky at the bottom. And if we spoof a user agent by going into the inspector, we are currently on the iPad and this is how it looks. You scroll down the page and that's great. Regular usage, that's awesome. But we wanna have social media icons at the bottom. To do that, I'm gonna play with the footer. So I'm gonna to go to the dashboard for Elementor, go to my templates. You need Elementor Pro to make this work because the stickiness is an Elementor Pro feature. So if you want to get Elementor Pro, there's a link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra to buy through that link, but they send me a small commission, which helps me keep the lights on, helps me making these videos. And if you do buy through that link, thank you very much. Uh, go into footer, demo for me, edit with Elementor. You can do this on individual pages as well, or you can do this in the blog template, for example, with Elementor Pro and have it just work on blog pages. So I'm just going to show you how to do it, and then you pick where you want to do it. Go to the very bottom of your page, click on plus, choose a full width column, find the social widget, drag and drop that in there. Now we have our social icons. You can add more over here to click on add item and add more of them. Pretty straightforward. Let's just add YouTube. I'm gonna make them circles. Let's make this full width, Let's stretch it. Let's add a background color of white. And then go to advanced. Here's the most important part. Two most important parts. Go to scrolling effects and choose bottom. And go to responsive and choose hide on desktop. So let's update this. Come out here, stop spoofing the mobile user agent. This is the desktop version I'm refreshing now. And we're gonna see nothing has changed on the desktop version. And if we spoof a user agent or a mobile user agent, we now see our social media buttons at the bottom. This is for the iPad. As we scroll, those buttons stay there. People can click them at any time to share this post on social media. So we can try Pixel 2. This is how it looks on a Pixel 2. iPhone 6, there's that. iPhone 5, there it is. And that's how easy it is to do. And now we have social media icons in our footers, making sharing really easy. And hopefully that drives more traffic to your website. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.